Blair and Kate, Sean here. I'm uh, really excited you guys chose to step it up. We're going to talk about nutrition a little later today, um, but <clears throat> what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you the routine that I want you to do on your own, okay? And the first thing I need to say is, in addition to this, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to send you two links. One's joint mobility drills, which is the stuff we do in class, and another one is more groundwork, uh, like the, the frog stance, rocking, rolling, um, hip hinges, and that kind of stuff. These should be done every single day, okay, every single day, and it's just going to help you get in the, mo the ideal alignment. It's going to help you move better, it's going to help you feel better, and thus improve performance, uh, help with fat loss, strength, all that stuff, okay. You guys are killing it in the class, so this is going to just complement everything. <clears throat> now, this routine is going to feel good. This is like a maintenance drill throughout the week. It's not, it's not meant to kill you. This is, this is meant to feel good. So this is, this is going to be great. You're probably going to enjoy doing this because you enjoy it. You don't enjoy the classes, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so <clears throat> after your joint mobility drills, what we're going to do is practice push-ups, right? We're going to make every rep perfect, focusing on staying tight, whether it's from the knees or from a full position. We should be able to set a glass on your back, a glass of water. Down five seconds. Up one or two. Down five seconds. Up for one or two seconds, okay? Let's practice five reps like that. Nice and slow, again, staying tight here. The term practice I'm using practice because this is a skill, believe it or not, right? We need to, to practice it and get stronger. And uh, I always say, unkink the hose, right? If our body and our nervous system is like, is like uh, the hose, and if it's kinked, water can't get through, the messages can't get through. If we unkink that, this is how we get stronger, you know, increase nutrient delivery, blood flow, all that stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. Great. Now we'll go to the poles. So right after the push-ups, Go to the pulse. Now, if you're doing it in the gym, this is going to take you maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe, if that. Get on a good angle. Look up at the ceiling again so that spine and everything is flat. We lower five seconds and then pull. Lower five seconds and pull. It should be challenging, but not really. Again, it's, it's practice. We're doing it perfectly. The last one is going to be lunges, or in this split stance, lower under control, stand nice and tall, and up. You need to make sure you're in a wide enough stance here. This is going to stretch out your hips. Anybody who sits long throughout the day needs this big time. So really focus on this one, okay? Stretch it out, down under control, and then up. Again, staying tight in the midsection. Five or six each side. Let's do about three or four rounds like that. Okay? This is going to get your heart rate up. You're going to get a little bit of a sweat on. Nothing, no, no big deal. Nothing too strenuous, right? But just practice it. Now, here's what's going to get interesting. You're going to pick a kettlebell, something that you're, you're comfortable with, like a modest weight, nothing crazy. Okay, let's say 30, 35 pounds, Blair, around the 45 or 50. Nothing crazy. I want you to practice perfect reps. Perfect reps for the next two weeks, 50 reps uh, five days of the week. Okay? The joint mobility stuff you should do every single day. This routine here, I'm going to say try to do it five days of the week. You want to practice it. You don't have to do it the days that you're, you're coming to the gym to for class, but the other days, you should be doing it for sure. So your swings, chest high, back flat, shoot your hips back, make these perfect, okay? Hike back, the second your forearms hit your thighs blast off, drive down with the heels, get that stomach crunch, that uh, pelvic tilt roll, drive the heels down, 
and squeeze everything. This is like a fast slingshot. We're fast and loose here, and we come up and we're rigid tight for a split second. Okay? As you guys know, this is going to get your heart rate up. This is going to drive your metabolism up for the rest of the day. Even if you're doing it at night, that's great. It's fantastic. Okay? And it's going to take you so little time. That's the benefit. Little bits every single day, when done consistently, it's going to pay off huge. Okay? So for the next two weeks, your joint mobility stuff, your groundwork, and a small little routine like this. And again, that other shit, you can do that at home if you want. You can go to the gym, it can be all business. Push-ups, pulls, your lunges, and then swings. Might take you 15 minutes, if that. Okay, get in, don't mess around, get out. Okay, best of luck guys. Any questions, let me know. But this is stuff that you can start on immediately. We'll talk about nutrition tonight. Take care.